Before the opening ceremony, we are already breaking records. So in terms of number of athletes, in terms of broadcasters, in terms of uh, sports, spectators. So and to break records even before the opening ceremony, it's an amazing thing. So I can't wait for these games to begin. And for you, obviously, a very special moment as your first games as the IPC president. Yeah, so it gives me, uh, I would say, a little bit of goosebumps and I can't wait for the open ceremony. Uh, but, you know, I'm more excited about what the athletes can do in the field of play. And so right after the open ceremony, we will get to the action. And at the end of the day, is what matters if the athletes are happy, providing them a good platform. And I think we have been working really hard with Pocock over the last seven years and we are giving them a very good platform to inspire and excite the world. As you mentioned, the action is always developing the sports, improving all the time in Paralympic Games. How much of a step forward do you think we will see at these championships and how much are the Paralympics here in Pyeongchang an opportunity to move things forward? Well, I think from the, the results of the last winter season, we can see that the athletes are stronger than ever. So I think this, is, in a way, it's from the, uh, the athletic performances will be better than ever. And of course, combined to the fact that we are starting out here an Asian uh, uh, season of many years with, uh, with Pyeongchang, Tokyo and Beijing 2022, I think we can really change things in this part of the world through sport, using sport as a catalyst for change, how people with an impairment are perceived in this part of the world. So, and with more broadcasters, more media, more nations, we have 49 nations attending for the first, uh, attending the Paralympic Winter Games here, three of them for the first time. So we have better athletes, we have better exposure. So I think our result here in terms of changing attitudes will be uh, probably the stronger ever. Well, one of those nations making their Winter Paralympic debut for the first time will be North Korea. Obviously always a lot of talk about the nation's participation in major championships. How important is it to have athletes from the nation here, particularly as it's being hosted in South Korea? Well, I think it's super important. You know, it's for the first time North Korea is uh, in, at the Winter Paralympic Games. Uh, we know that for South Korea it's very important. I've been here a few months ago and President Moon stressed how important it is to send a message of peace to the world, uh, to say uh, that sport can act as a catalyst for change, but not only change for persons with an impairment, which is quite obvious at the Paralympic Games, but also this important message of peace that sport can bring people together. And of course for North Korea, being the first time, we are really excited because uh, you know having more and more countries to uh, participate in the Winter Games, it's really a fantastic thing. Another nation that people have spoken a lot about in recent years is Russia and you have athletes from that nation competing as neutral athletes here. How important is it to have them as part of the Games and do you see these Paralympics as an opportunity for the nation to start reintegrating with the Paralympic movement? No, I think it's really important to have neutral athletes here from Russia. They have progressed a lot after what happened in Rio de Janeiro, so the, Paral the Russian Paralympic Committee is working with our independent task force. We have been monitoring the athletes, so we, in having a neutral Par Paralympic uh, athletes team here, we are giving the opportunity for the, the athletes who we can say with the same degree of confidence that uh, any other athlete, that they are clean, the chance to participate at the Paralympic uh, Winter Games. So. We are slowly bringing the, uh, the Russia together, uh, back to the Paralympic family, under controlled environment, in a pathway that it's agreed between many different parties. So yes, I'm really excited to have them here. I think it's important to have them here. Uh, and it is a message that we, we will not be complacent when it comes to anti-doping. We will be zero tolerant. But when we know that one athlete is clean, we will allow him or her to come and participate in the Games. You mentioned excitement there. What are you most excited about seeing at these Games? No, I'm excited to, to see the six sports that we have in the program uh, because each sport brings a different element to it. So you have you know, Alpine, you have the speed, the adrenaline. Uh, when you, you think about wheelchair curling, you have the strategy, you have the skill. Uh, you have the endurance at, at uh, biathlon and uh, the cross country. So every sport has a different element. Uh, and I can't wait really to see blind skiers, uh, more than 100 kilometers per hour, downhill. That's amazing. When you talk about that to people around the world, they say, come on, that can't be, that can't be 
that it can be real. I say, yeah, it is, and it will be. You will be able to see that the Paralympic Games in Pyeongchang. So, I'm really excited about uh, every single sport and the crowds. I'm really excited about the crowds. You must be pleased that the ticket sales have, have increased because obviously crowd spectators are a huge part of building that excitement and atmosphere around the games. Yes, and we today we can say that we have reached uh, the target of ticket sales, so we are super happy about that. We had 280,000 tickets sold so far and we expect a few more uh, in the coming days, so uh, we couldn't be happier. We know that a few months ago we were concerned, but Pocock reacted uh, really well and also the, the different levels of government here in Korea. So crowds are such an important part of, of the games because the athletes want to perform in front of you know, full stadia and this is what we are going to get here in Pyeongchang.